Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. And in this one, we're off to everybody's favourite brewery. <laughs> Not. We're off to everybody's favourite brewery, Brewdog. And they have bought out a double IPA in Tesco recently. And it's a can of Arcade Made. Clock in at 8% ABV. Now, I've had some double IPAs over the past few weeks and i have to say i'm not an expert but i've had some good ones and i've some i've some i've had some real good ones so when brewdog have bought out you know their dipper they've got a lot of living up to you know a lot of they've got a lot of competition from from where i am anyway so, it says, coin-operated beer, usual shit from the brew, got brew dog can, 8% ABV, 440ml can, what are the hops, um, what are the hops, I can't see, I'm just going to whack it in, whack it in, get a whiff. Lemon, hint of dank, that's about it, um, let's pour it out like you do, so this should be quite, quite hazy, very hazy in fact, um, a good dipper for me, a sign of a good dipper is a real chicken stock hazy colour, see that there, and we're not getting that. We're getting a, a medium hint of haziness. So, for starters, appearance-wise, it's not got a lot going for it, to be honest, from my perspective. This is my only my own opinion, boys and girls. There's people out there who love BrewDog and have bought into everything they do. So I don't want to ruin, you know, or upset them you know, ruin their ideology or upset them. I do apologise, but at the moment, for me, I'm looking for a thicker looking beer than that. For a dipper. This is, I think it's four quid in Tesco, so it's on the dearer side, obviously, because of the ABV. Um, but for me, that's got to be thicker. Let's get the aroma. Hint of dankness and lemon. It The, the aroma feels watered down it's got the aroma but for me a good dipper has to be more amplified big aroma and lemon a lemon 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 a big aroma of dankness <laughs> you can tell about a few can't you <laughs> i'm gonna go in cheers That's pretty terrible. That is very terrible. That's pretty, pretty bad. Um, you know, of the dippers I've had over the last, oh, three months, I've had some really good ones. Um, I think my beer of the year last year was a dipper as well. I'll show my beer of the year, one of my beers of the years. Beers of the years, beers of the year, is that one from Rivington? Mad, mad God, mad God! That was a bloody good dipper. And I'm looking at that. That's a dipper, is it, Brewdog? Is that what you say is a good, good dipper? I think you're full of shit, like you usually are. Um, mouthfeel is thin. It's sweet. Um, the beer itself, the overall feel of the beer just feels really cheap and thin. It doesn't feel like there's any craft or love put into this beer. It feels... Crap. 
for a dipper. It does. It just feels rubbish. I'm not saying Brewdog are a bad brewer. I'm saying that Brewdog need to go back to the days of the original Hazy Jane, which was one of the best dippers from a supermarket. Was it a dipper? It was a dipper, wasn't it? <laughs> one of the better beers from the supermarket. Um, you know, this for me, it speaks of, it, it just speaks of how much does it cost to brew this beer? How much does it cost to distribute it? How much does it cost to, you know, costings all along? Costings in the brewing of it. Costings in the packaging of it. Costings in the transportation of it. Costings in the selling of it. That's what I just think. That's that's all I kind of think of looking at this. Costings. Let's make a dipper, but it's got to be dead cheap how we brew a dipper. You know, it's got to be dead cheap. You know, it's got to be, the, you know, the transport, you know, the transportation of it's got to be dead cheap. You know, the selling of it, it's got to be pretty dear. Four quid a can. ABV is 8%. Yeah, you know, but everything for me is done on a budget and it feels like it. The whole beer is done on a budget from the from the feel of the beer to everything and yeah the money men in brewdog once we've got someone employed to add up the sums and everything and you know thinking oh well we'll get this in the supermarket you'll make such and such amount of money and oh yeah we'll, we'll do it that way but everything a money man does in a company doesn't matter where you work it just compromises integrity. It doesn't matter what role or what industry you work in. If you get somebody in to save costings, it ruins the whole integrity of the lot, you know, of everything. And basically, that's this is what's happened with this. You know, for me, someone somewhere has added up the amount it costs to brew this. You know, from the actual brewing to the hops, to the ingredients, everything, to distribution, to the supermarket and everything. And for four quid a pop, they are making money on it. They must do. Um, but the sacrifice is that. That's the sacrifice you make from brewing beer on the cheap. And not a very good one. There'll be people out there who think that is great. But believe you me, you go to your local brewery, local craft beer brewery, or wherever, wherever you live near, no not matter where you live, there'll be a craft brewery near you who will do a dipper. And I can guarantee you, it'll be a lot better than that. A lot better. So I'm going to go in again. Mouthfeel, is it smooth? I wouldn't say it's exactly brilliant. I wouldn't say it's soft. There is slightly juicy notes there. There is a dankness there to it. But I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say it's enjoyable. It's just got a whole feel... Of cost saving on it. So boys and girls. What do I say to this? Give it a go. Tell me what you think. Um, for me personally. I've had a lot better beers of this style. From smaller breweries. And they can do. A lot better job than Brewdog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Put them in the comments. See you on the next one. Bip bip.